Just over a month ago, I posted this video about the latest AI updates in Google Workspace. But since then, it honestly feels like a year has gone by because Google just keeps dropping this insane new features so fast it's hard to keep up. They've just added Workspace apps into Gemini, so now you can automate a ton of repetitive tasks like checking your emails or adding notes and calendar events. We get access to the smartest AI models in the world, Gemini 2.5 Pro and Flash. We'll soon be able to create audio overviews directly inside of Google Doc, basically getting a podcast style summary of your document, and we can even transcribe videos in Google Drive. Now that was a mouthful, but that's not even half the updates I'm going to show you today. So by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to use the latest Google Workspace updates to stay super productive. So grab a cup of coffee and let's get right into it. First, let's talk about workspace apps that you can now access without having to leave Gemini. Just go over to the website and tap on the ad sign and you'll see the list of apps here. We've got Calendar, Keep, Tasks, Gmail, Docs and Dry. You can literally ask AI to do anything for you here. You could ask it to create a calendar event, to add a note, to add a list of tasks, to check your recent emails or even ask it to create a document, which is absolutely amazing. And if you click on Gemini Advanced here, you'll see that two very good models have just been added to our workspace as well. We've got Gemini 2.5 Pro, which is currently the smartest AI in the world, is the best for complex tasks. It has a huge context window, so it could process a ton of information at once. And we've also just got 2.5 Flash, which is kind of like 2.5 Pro. It's also amazing at advanced reasoning, but it's also much faster. So I'm just going to pick this and demonstrate how it works. I'm just going to tap add here and choose Gmail. And now I'm just going to ask Gemini to check all of my latest emails I got from sponsors and create a list of them for me. And as you can see, it already starts working with Workspace, getting all of the emails. And just like that, we've got the list of all of our potential sponsors right here. Now, I'd like to take this even further and ask AI to create a list of tasks for me in Google Tasks. So I'm going to tap Add again, and this time I'm going to choose Google Tasks and type out my prompt to create a list of tasks for each email I haven't answered. And as you can see, it starts working with Workspace again, and you'll see that the tasks have been added now. And if I go to Google Tasks, I can see in fact that we've got the list of all of the emails that we need to answer. Now in the same chat, I can ask Gemini to summarize and draft responses to my emails. And if somebody asks me for a meeting, I can now type add right here, choose Google Calendar and ask it to add this meeting to my calendar for me. It's important to know that the apps feature is still in beta, but you can fully use it. You just have to log into your Google admin account. You're going to go to generative AI, click Gemini app right here, and you'll see the workspace apps feature, which is currently in beta. You're going to click on that. And now you just have to tick the allow access to workspace apps in beta here and just click save. And now when you go to Gemini, you'll see that you can access the apps with the ad sign. And also you'll see when you click on the plus icon right here, you can now add documents right from your drive, which makes your work even faster. If you're a fan of Google, make sure to subscribe to this channel. I upload weekly videos on all of the latest Google AI releases so you can keep up with it and stay super productive. So hit that red button so you don't miss any of the future videos. Next, let's get into the Google Drive updates, which is just insane. First of all, when you upload any video to Drive, you can now click on the settings icon and you'll see the transcript button right here. And what that's going to do is to create a transcript of your video minimum by minute, which is super useful if you're uploading a ton of episodes to your drive. Now you know exactly what each one is about, or you can use it to transcribe meetings for free, which we'll get into in a minute. Next, we've got the audio overview section inside of Google Docs that is going to go through even the longest of documents and generate a human sounding podcast about it for you. Now, if you've got this feature, you're going to be able to see it when you hit insert and you'll see audio right here and you'll see the audio overview inside it. Now, I personally haven't got it rolled out to me yet. And if you haven't too, there's a very quick workaround that will do absolutely the same thing. You're just going to go to Gemini, you're going to hit plus, add from drive and choose the document that you'd like the podcast to be about. Then you're going to hit insert 
and you'll see the generate audio overview prompted to you right here. I'm just going to click that and that's going to do the same thing. Now imagine you have a very long meeting recording. I've got this one about Tesla Q1 reports, which is about two hours long. Now, instead of watching the whole thing, I just like AI to generate a quick audio overview for me that will just go over the most important points. Now, what I can do is upload this video to my drive. Then I'm just going to hit the settings icon right here, transcript, and I'm just going to copy this whole thing and I'm going to paste it directly inside an empty Google Docs file. I'm just going to name it. Now I'm just going to go to Gemini. I'm going to press on the plus icon right here and choose our Tesla Q1 report file right here. And Gemini 2.5 has a very long context window, as I've mentioned before. So it's going to have no problem processing all of this information at once. And just like that, we've just saved ourselves about two hours because instead of watching the whole thing, I could just listen to this quick audio overview. Last time, I already showed you that Google Meets can now transcribe and take notes in meetings for you. But now they have made this update available in more languages, which is amazing. Now, this upgrade isn't very obvious, so let me show you how you can access it. So the first thing you're going to do is go to Google Meets and start a new meeting, which is what I'm going to do. You're going to see double right now. Next, I'm just going to click on this pencil right here and you'll see that you can already start taking notes in English. Now, to change the language, you're just going to hit this English hyperlink right here and then you'll see more languages. Now, Google will up it to 30 languages soon, but right now we've only got seven basic ones. We've got French, German, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Portuguese, Spanish. I'm going to choose Spanish, of course, because that's the only language I speak from this list, unfortunately. So I'm just going to choose this. And now when you take notes, you'll see that you've got Spanish alpha written here, and you can just start taking notes in Spanish. So I'm going to go ahead and start this meeting. Hola a todos, en esta reunión hablaremos sobre las nuevas actualizaciones en Google Workspace. A few moments after your meeting ends, everybody who was in it will receive an email from Gemini with the meeting notes. I've just got it right here, as you can see from Gemini, and it says to open meeting notes. It's in English for some reason, but I don't think it matters that much. I'm just going to go ahead and open it. And on the left right here, you'll see that we've got the meeting transcript and we've also got notes. Now, it didn't do so well in the meeting transcript, as you can see, it. Actually, it actually transcribed everything I said, but it made a ton of mistakes. Like it says that it's Google with space instead of quick space. And there are a ton of uh, mistakes here, but I guess I can just fix them super easily with the help of Google here. And then everybody who has that file will see the updates immediately. But if we go to notes, you'll see that it actually did really well. So first it gives us a little description of the meeting. Now it understood the word pace was actually workspace. And here we've got more details of the meeting. Now I wish this was a little bit better organized, but it's okay. And we could use the help me right here to just fix it and organize it a little bit more. It will take me maybe a minute or so to edit. So very good overall. Next, let's get into a few more updates we got out of the Gemini app and Notebook LM. First, when you go to Gemini, you'll see that a few more things have just been added to the chat window. We've got Deep Research and Canvas. Now, I've already told you how to use Deep Research before, but now it's just so much more powerful. It now analyzes a ton more sources, and it also looks into PDFs and YouTube videos for you. Say you want to research materials for my new AI course for businesses and I'm just going to tell it to look into AI skills needed to succeed, leading AI tools and their features, best AI platform for different tasks like coding and accounting, and how to adapt and where to look for updates. So I'm just going to hit deep research and send that in and you'll see that it will start working and first it's going to give us a research plan just like it did before but now we're just going to start research and I'm going to show you what it's going to do. So if we look at thinking here on the right, you'll see that Gemini separates its research into different steps. And for each step, it pulls more and more different sources. As you can see, for step one, it found all of these websites. Then for step two, it went on and found even more websites. And for step three, more websites. And as you can see, we've already got uh, it researching about 165 websites. So it is really, really detailed and deep. A couple of minutes later, our research paper is ready. It's absolutely amazing. 
amazing. It went in and researched everything I asked it for. We've got a couple of tables right here, so it's super, super deep and detailed. There are several things I can do here now. If I press on this icon right here, I can generate an audio overview just like we did before. So I can just quickly listen to this instead of reading the whole thing. But what I'm actually going to do is to export it to Docs because next I'd like to show you how the Canvas feature works. So I'm just going to open a separate chat right here, click Canvas, and then I'm just going to hit plus and add this file from Drive. So you're going to add our research paper right here. Now, Canvas is perfect for creating an editable file that you can just go back and forth with AI on. So I'm just going to ask it to generate a course outline and separate it in lessons. So what that's going to do is generate an editable file for me that I can just go back and forth with AI on. As you can see right here, it just typed it out and we've got our material separate in different lessons and I can just go in here and add things manually or ask AI to improve something or remove something so it's absolutely amazing and super useful. Now let's touch on Notebook LM updates because the plus features are still completely free to anyone with Workspace account and if you're still not using this free Google tool yet seriously what are you doing it can save you so much time on tasks like research, marketing, sales and onboarding. Now say you have HubSpot as your CRM and you'd like to teach your new employees how to use it so you can create a notebook for that and use the brand new feature discover sources that will find articles PDFs and YouTube videos for you so I'm just going to click that and I'm going to uh, type have spot support articles and at first, I'm just going to say, for example, adding leads. And what that's going to do is going to find all support articles from HubSpot about adding leads. And as you can see, you just found those articles. Now I'm just going to hit import. And now I'm just going to hit discover sources again. And now I'd like to find some YouTube video tutorials. So I'm just going to say YouTube tutorials. HubSpot. And it's just going to go ahead and search for YouTube videos for me on this topic. And I'm just going to hit import again. You can keep adding more and more sources on different parts of the CRM until your knowledge base is complete. And now your employees can learn in a very fun way. For example, they could create a mind map that will organize all the content they need to learn. And they could just click on different parts of it and learn from it. Or if they have a technical question, instead of searching through documentation for hours or nagging someone, they could just ask AI about it. So for example, they could type in, how could I delete a lead, send that in, and your notebook will answer for you instead of them having to search for it. Lastly, I'd like to touch on video generation. Now, Google released VO2, which is a video generation model, a couple of months ago, but now they are adding it to more places. So as we speak, they're adding it to Gemini Advance and Gemini Advance for Workspace slowly. Some people have already got it. So soon you'll just be able to click on the model name, choose VO2 and ask AI to generate any video for you. Google have also released the Google Vids app to Workspace, but everybody was just commenting that it was was useless and that it was going to get discontinued soon but with the new video generation feature I don't think so because if you go to Google Bits right here first of all you can use AI to kind of generate the video outline and script for you so that's going to take care of that and you can also add a ton of Google files that you've already got in your drive and then you get redirected to this video editor right here and there are a ton of AI features here that could be super useful First of all, when you hit on the transcript icon right here, you can just type out your script for each section and then you can generate uh, the voiceover with AI instead of paying for platforms like Eleven Labs. And soon, some people have already got it, you'll be able to press on this video generation icon and generate your video with AI. So I think overall, it could be pretty useful with all of these AI features. Check out the previous Google Workspace updates episode to make your colleagues jealous of your AI skills and to free up some time to watch more of my videos. I guess I'll see you there.